Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today, just like any other day, this video is meant to help you make more money and be more successful in your life and today we are going to talk about the psychology of selling and if you watch to the end of this quick short video, I'm not only going to tell you guys the factors that can really influence the way that somebody behaves when buying something from you, but I'll also reference the number one book that my sales mentors have recommended to me over and over and over again. And this one book, I promise you, will change the game for you. I make all of our salespeople at our software company, as well as the marketing agency, read this book before getting on any sales calls. It's the first thing I do in their onboarding is I buy them this book from Amazon, I ship it straight to their door, and I go through each chapter with them as they read it throughout their training. So with that being said, let's jump right into how we can influence people's decision-making processes through the psychology of selling. Now you might be wondering, what does the psychology of selling even mean? And essentially, it's about understanding your customer's mindset all the way down to their needs, desires, concerns, and how they make their decisions on a daily basis. With this understanding and this in your back pocket, you can really influence the way that they make decisions or buy something from you. Now to start getting dialed in on what the psychology of selling really is, we really need to understand what are the customer's needs. Everybody out there has some sort of desire to fill a need, solve a problem, or buy a new product for whatever reason. Every customer out there is seeking to solve a problem or fill a desire. Your task is to connect the dots for that consumer and show them how your product or service fulfills that need or desire. And it's as simple as that. You can think about how Apple sells their products. They don't just sell a phone. They're selling a status symbol, a way of life, a promise of quality, and above all else, a seamless user experience. In our agency, we really find out in the beginning of a sales call, what is their actual desire? How much do they really want to grow their business? And if they tell us they need a 200% increase in their business in the next six months, we know that is their desire. And therefore, our job is to connect our services to that desire and form the bridge there so the customer clearly sees that we are going to fulfill that desire through our services. Now, next up, I wanna talk about the principle of reciprocity, and this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tactics when it comes to sales. This principle is all about our human nature and our desire to return favors. So for instance, if you offer something to your customer before they buy from you, like a free ebook, a strategy session, a coupon code, a free gift, whatever it is, they're likely to feel obligated to return that favor even if they did not ask for that free item. And this is being used across the world. There are organizations in certain parts of the world that will give out free gifts on the street, expecting a donation back. And once you have that free gift in your hand, you feel almost obligated to give them some sort of donation. The other way that you can think about this is the way that we use this with our agency. We do what are called strategy sessions. And in this strategy call, we do nothing but provide value. We run all the most expensive softwares, look under the hood of their competitors, and we give them real data and real insights on how they can grow their business without us pressuring them to accept a package. On that strategy call, it's all value. It's all give, 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 give. And we only try to close them on the second call after the strategy call is finished. So they get a full 30 minutes to an hour of our team's time with all of the resources we have at our disposal. And at the end of that, they really feel like they got a lot from us without having to give us anything. It's all free for them. And it's worked really well for us in terms of closing on that second call because by the time it comes around for us to close a deal, we've already warmed up to them so much on the previous call and they already think of us as an expert and we've given them so much that they almost feel like they owe it to us to not only get on that closing call, but to then work with us. 
Now, the next one that I wanna talk about is social proof, and this one is critical, no matter if you're selling a product or a service out there. As humans, we have a tendency to follow the crowd. It's just in our subconscious. That's why testimonials and reviews have been seen to strongly influence somebody's buying behavior. This can really show your potential customers that others have bought your product or worked with you and had a great experience. Therefore, the customer that's looking to buy your product now is likely to feel like they'll have a good experience as well. A great example of this is if you go to Amazon, how do you pick out the product that you want when you're looking at 20 different toothbrushes? You're going to look at the reviews and that is going to be a key factor in which one you buy. Therefore, those reviews are really affecting how you make your buying decision. Now, the flip side to this is with a service, I strongly, strongly recommend you invest in video testimonials. Video testimonials for us have been critical to people not only believing that we can do what we say we're gonna do, but them actually wanting to buy with us at the end of the day a video testimonial from a business owner that's going to talk just like them, that's going to think the same thoughts just like them, is going to move the needle a whole lot more than any sales tactic that any salesperson can come up with uh, on the spot or in the phone call. So yes, they are a little bit of work, but get on a quick Google Meet session or a Zoom session, record the call and just ask them a couple of questions or you can just have them film a selfie video. It's totally up to you, but the more testimonials you have, video or written, is going to really be the deciding factor on how much you sell at the end of the day. And lastly, I wanted to touch on the scarcity principle. Again, playing to our subconscious psychology, we as humans are naturally drawn to things that are exclusive or that are in limited supply. So therefore, if your supply or your service is likely to go out of stock or somebody thinks that they're not gonna be able to get it in the future, they are much, much more likely to act quickly and buy right away. An everyday example of what you can see here is the low stock alerts that countless e-commerce companies send out every day, or when a company does a drop, which is a limited release of let's say, 50 t-shirts only and once those 50 t-shirts sell out, we're never gonna print this design again. So these are all tactics to play to your subconscious psychology and get you to buy more, therefore helping them sell. And keep this in mind, next time you're browsing online and you see only two left in stock, either on Amazon or any other e-commerce platform, and just notice your subtle urge to really consider that product a little bit stronger than if that limited quantity alert was not on that product. It is crazy how these things can influence us without even us noticing it. Now, I wanted to keep this video really short and sweet today and do something a little bit different from my other videos that have a lot more research and go into a lot more depth. But with that being said, these psychology principles, while they will help you sell and there's something that you can take to your business today, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to sales. Like I said, there's a whole book on it and that book is called The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. That is the book that I buy for every single salesperson that we bring on and they read during their onboarding process with us. Just having these in your back pocket will help you close more deals and I do put a lot of research into these videos. There's a lot more videos on my channel and it's growing every week. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you found any of these tips useful at all. And again, I'm always listening in the comments if there's any topics that you want me to research, go over, or even bring my own experience in with either running my software company for real estate professionals or our marketing agency that focuses primarily on SEO, please let me know in the comments. I am happy to engage with you guys and I read every single comment that's there. I hope you guys are having a great one and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.